All right, y'all, what's good, man? Uh, <clears throat> it's your boy, that name is Skills, man. Look, the reason why I'm making this video, man, uh, I wasn't even going to speak on it, but uh, I was in my boy's stream the other day, and he brought it up, too. So, <clears throat> I'm making this video just so I can clear the air with the 2K community between me and DXG, between me and NFTG, between me and ATL. All right, check me out, bro. Look, there is no beef between me and ATL. All right, there is no beef with me and NSTG. All right, what me and ATL got going on, me and him gonna have to chop it up as men, as real niggas. Chop it up and get that shit, you know what I'm saying, put that shit behind us and go on about our business, man. I don't want nobody to feel like uh, Dynamic don't fuck with us no more because he fell out with ATL. Nah, that ain't the case, bro, because you know what I'm saying, check me out. I got goddamn... I got mods that's NSTG. I got VIPs that's NSTG. I ain't took nobody fucking VIP. I ain't took nobody mod. I ain't treated nobody different. None of that shit. Those of y'all who still come in my stream and, and, and fuck with me, I'm, nigga, I'm still the same nigga. You know what I'm saying? And that and that goes for DXG too. You know what I'm saying? DXG too. I don't want nobody to feel like, you know what I'm saying, y'all shouldn't. No. What me and that man got is between me and him. Now, with that being said, I want to I, I want to speak on something of what ATL said the other day and the reason why I got tight. Any other argument that me and this nigga that had, I mean it's, it's fucking behind 2K. We squashed that shit, gone by our business. It's fucking 2K, my nigga. 2K makes shit like that happen. You see what I'm saying? But but this shit that the nigga said on his stream, bro was like, oh this this, this nigga weird. This nigga just trying to hang around me for some for some uh, views. To get a view or two. Now, keep this in mind, bro. I've been fucking with ATL since 2K18. That's a long time, my nigga. Throughout all these years, my nigga, if I was hanging around a nigga for some views like that, ATL cannot say that, down I, bro. I have never asked this nigga for no host. I have never asked ATL for no fucking, hey, can you shout me out on your stream? Uh, Say, bro, can you, you know what I'm saying, help me out with some views? I ain't never asked ATL for none of that shit. Every time that I play with ATL, no matter if it's in the morning, during the day, during the afternoon, or whatever, nine times out of ten, I'm all, I, I play with the nigga off stream while he's streaming. If I was around you for views and shit, bro, I would I would turn my stream on while I'm playing with you. I've I bro I've never put in my title uh playing tools with ATL or streaking it up with ATL on the I, I bro I've never I've never done no shit like that. And and, and for bro to say that shit, it kind of fucked me up because it's like damn, you know I already don't you know mess with a lot of people in the community anyway because they're weird, like they like they be on some weird shit. But you know what I'm saying. I know ATL came from a different background, kind of similar to my background. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, I felt like that I can relate to bro. You know what I'm saying? But when he said that shit, it kind of, I was like, damn, that shit, you know, it fucked me up because I ain't never asked him for shit. And like I said, me and him, they had so many conversations, bro, on Twitter, on fucking uh, Instagram, on goddamn Discord, all that shit, bro. I, I, I've never asked him for nothing. So for him to say that shit, it kind of like, it fucked me up, you know? I mean, maybe bro was going to do some shit that day. Maybe he had a lot on, on his mind and he got aggravated or something. Or maybe he just felt like that. Who knows? I don't know, bro. But when he said that shit, that's like, that's like you know, that right there, it, it, you know, I was like, okay, well, well shit. Damn. All right. Bet. But I just wanted to speak on that. Because I've, I've never been that type of nigga. I've always had my own thing. Whether I pull 60, whether I pull 50, whether I pull 70, I've always did my own thing, always. Before I met ATL, even at, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've always had my own fan base. I've always had my own community, bro. And I would never... I, would, I mean, I would never expect, bro, to just say some shit like that. Now, anything about 2K yet, I mean, this shit would have been done. Shit would have been done. We would have been chopping up, being, you know what I'm saying, back on stream. 
you know what I'm saying, fuck it with the nigga, whatever. But when he said that shit, it was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it was kind of like a kind of like a low blow. And for a nigga that I've been knowing for that long to just say some shit like that, me and me and him gonna have to chop it up. The only way that shit could get resolved is me and him gonna have to get on the phone or something and just chop it up like real niggas and just put that shit behind us, bro. You know what I'm talking about? But to set the record straight, though, I don't want NSTG to feel some type of way because me and ATL done got into it. I still, those of y'all who do fuck with, fuck with my streams, I'm still I'm still the same nigga. I, I, don't, I don't treat nobody different. Or, man, look, dog, because I'm saying this because I was in I was an MVP stream the other day. And MVP was like, oh, well, nah, I thought you ain't, you ain't fuck with me, man, because you ain't ATL. No, nigga, I fuck with all y'all. I, I still fuck with ATL. Me and him just gonna have to talk about this shit. Because that was a low blow. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just wanted to clear the air and just to set the record straight on that shit, man. Imagine me being a, trying to be around a nigga for some views. I mean, I've always had my shit. I've always been so I've always stayed in my own lane, bro. When I fuck with other streamers, my nigga, it's 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 for the community. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's for. It's not for trying to hang around this nigga because of who you know. No, bro. Everybody that I fuck with, bro, I just I try to do it for the community. Cause as streamers, that's what the people want to see. Cause I hear I hear I hear the shit all the time. Man, bro, dynamic. You and you and ATL, man, the most funniest streams, man. Y'all, da 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 da. This and that. I like, you know, what I'm saying that's why I be like, all right, you know, what I'm saying that's why I be like fucking with broken, like you know, what I'm saying like. But when he said that shit, it like damn. All right, well, fuck it. It is what it is. But just to clear the air, y'all, it ain't no beef between STG. It ain't no beef between me and ATL. I fuck with each and every one of y'all, man. Hopefully one day me and bro can put this shit behind us and go on about our business, bro. And uh, get back to that bag, man, you know. So, hope y'all have a good day, bro. Peace.